Hello, and welcome back to an episode of Let's Play Golden Sun. Alright, now let's get out of here and do stuff. Uh, a couple side stops. I'll talk to this guy. Well, I would suppose not. Um, pick up right here. No, no. It's a little sensitive when you're uh, moving up to an, an item like a like a barrel to inspect it. Cause it it'll kind of face you away like it just did. It's kind of awkward. Anyways, there's a nut. Uh, but I'm gonna start sticking the eye. Or guardian acorn. All right. So I got that. Um, nothing down in the basement that I care about. But head over here, and there's a nice piece of equipment that I forgotten about. Um, uh, water jacket. That'll uh, increase fire and water resistances, in addition to being a pretty good piece of defensive equipment. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. Um, I'm going to give it to Garrett for now. Um, when Garrett outgrows that, I'm going to pass it down to Ivan, probably. Um, it, it's better suited for Ivan, um, because of the fire and uh, water resistances, it's just a little more useful for him, but I'm um, still plenty useful for, for any other character as well. <laughs> Alright. Well, that's enough here. Um, we're gonna get out of here, and we'll make some progress. Get some stuff done. Now, what's this? <laughs> oh, that's all those guys from the inn. I wonder what they're doing. Oh yeah, Colossal. No way. Luckily we'll get to see some of that Colossal eventually. Pretty fun, pretty fun part of the game, I think. <laughs> I like how the chef's there and he's got a frying pan. Yeah, he just flipped it. I never noticed that before. That's great. What's he cooking? I mean, my first thought was eggs, but maybe a pancake or something. I know, who cares. Okay. I feel like they overdo this scene a little bit. There's a little too much dialogue, but... Yeah, it adds a little bit of... It's, it's different. I mean, it's kind of like, hey, surprise, we're having a short little cutscene that's a little comical, but... Huh. Missing somebody. Maybe we could take a spot. Of course, there's four of us, but yeah, well, what do they know? I'm just there's four people inside of one. That's what it looks like. Yeah. What are they doing? It's not that hard to count eight people. It doesn't take two people to count eight people four times each or whatever. You guys better hurry up. You're gonna be late if you just sit there and count people for hour. Who are you whining? No, you can't. So get going so we can do our side quests. So we have two villages to hit up. I think I'm gonna try and hit up both in the same episode. Hurry up and get out of here. Don't miss the boat. <sighs> nope, so go. Go, go, get out of my face. <sighs> I don't even know what to say. Durr. That's what I can say. How about that? Okay, they're gone, so let's go. Oh, there's the last guy, I bet. Old man. Yep, oh, yep, he's the last guy. You better hurry along, little guy. <laughs> they sure would, and they did. Alright, now let's go. Finally got out of here. Okay. Uh, because it's kind of a long walk back, I'm gonna use the fast forward button a little bit because I don't feel like taking forever. Let's go over 
here, and this area should look somewhat familiar. Uh, this is Vault. Yeah, long time no see. So, uh, our stop here, first thing we want to do is, uh, I'm going to stop in the inn. There's something I want to grab. A bone. Kind of an odd thing, and also a never-ending supply of bones, may I add. But, we'll be needing that. I'll show you why in a minute here. So, I'll give this to this dog. And he moves. Well, seems to be something there. Uh, just for fun, let's mind read the dog. A careful search will reveal a passage leading underground nearby. Hmm. Some treasure, huh? Well, let's see. Ooh, a secret passage! Uh, before we go down there, I'm gonna go over here. Um, if you were to come straight to Vault after getting out of the desert, um, if you don't stop in Calais, for whatever reason, uh, you can't access that, that underground cave. And that bell will put that Jin out of that tree, and there's a little mini dungeon inside, and you could go all the way through it, get to the end, and then the Jin would just be sitting in the tree, and you could do nothing about it. So you have to ring that bell. But, uh, but yeah, I, I spent quite a while trying to figure out why the hell I couldn't, uh, get into this cave, because I was just heading straight from the desert over to here, and it just... It was driving me crazy, because I even looked up um, videos to see if I was doing something wrong. But, I mean, it was just I remembered it. I just skipped over stopping at Clay. Oh, well. Let's just hit him with the strongest attacks. Uh, like usual, it's just pretty much the same battle, just higher stats. Um, let's use ice. I need to spend 11 synergy points for that. So, the, well, okay, that was worse than I thought. Maybe 11 points would have been worth it. Just got 128 synergy points. It's quite a bit. Just him again. Should be over this round or next round. Well, let's try Ice Horn and see how much more damage it does. Should do around 70 or 80, I think. Yep, 70. Not bad. Come on, get him. There we go. Yeah, decent experience. Yeah, bile. Cool. And coins, but yeah. I'm not too, uh, too interested in coins right now. Yeah, I need some new enemies. Gargoyles. Oh, nice heads that they have. I don't think I ever noticed that before. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use Planet Diver just to make this go a little bit quicker. Uh, there's no bosses here. and um, I just kinda wanna get through this. I'll stop at the end on my way out. No big deal. Ah, pa. Plant Diver's pretty cool. Uh, maybe next episode I should switch up the classes for an episode or so. Ah, Bind. Uh, kind of useful uh, synergy sp spell. It, uh, it'll seal full Psy energy. Uh, in other words, it's a, it's a mute. It's a mute spell. Um... Let's see, if we just push this over here and make this symmetrical. There's a few puzzles inside this cave. And they could trip you up. And they might... Interesting. Uh, that's, that sound effect completely threw me off. Um, let's use Whirlwind here. There's some spells I want to show off that are cool. There's one in particular, uh, a certain sword spell. Yeah, what do we have? And a Vambrace. Uh, I believe that you can use it. Oh, just boost attack, okay. Um, hmm. Well, Isaac has a lower defense, so he's gonna get it. Um, and I'm actually gonna give this potion to make a little room to Maya. She doesn't have much for large healing spells. Or items, excuse me. Alright, so we have a bunch of these to try and uh, use frost with. I'm going to actually set it to my shortcut um, just for now. I'll have to set it back to reveal soon. Um, i trying to remember how you're supposed to get across these. Because uh, the drops, 
Um, they'll, they'll melt the friggin' pillars. No. Let's do that. No. Let's see. I think it's gonna melt those, though. Oh, is it like a certain number of drops? these. Kind of a simple puzzle, but the, the drops do add. I'm pretty sure those will melt if enough drops hit those. Could be wrong. Alright, oh, let's go in here. Hmm. How do we get through there? Yeah, let's go over here first. Um, yeah, new enemy. I'm Funny looking bear. Uh, so curiosity. I want to see how much damage Spider does now from uh, Isaac. Yeah, I'll show off Bind. It's not going to really do me any good in this battle, but why not? It's kind of cool looking. Eh, 54. I mean, it's it's better than what it was you know, when, we, when I first showed it off. Um, we don't want to go up here a second. So there's... Oh, that's right. You gotta set the button. Dumb. I'm dumb. This is why you practice these things. So you don't make new mistakes like I just did. And forget things. Another new enemy. Uh, cave troll. Um, ah, these synergy spells. Oh, I wanted to get this moving. I'm hoping to get up to another village. Uh, I'll just go ahead and tell you, it's Vale. Um, there's something we can do there. There's there's two things I want to hit up in particular. One is, there's an area that we couldn't reach previously, and uh, there's some dialogue that I've actually never seen. Um, and I was just doing a little research about this game, and there's a, there's a scene where you can go back and talk to uh, Isaac and Garrett's parents, and... I've never actually done that. I've always just skipped right by them and not talked to them. So, uh, that'll be new for me. Should be cool. That water drains so slowly. I'll go down here real quick. Because... Alright, now those drops will put out that fire. Um, so there's a specific way you want to push this. First, you gotta get that out of the way. Shit. Oh, I suck. Shoot. There's a certain way you have to do this. And I think I'm gonna mess it up. Move it, move it. Oh my god, I was so close. Alright. Oh, shoot. Just one second, viewers. Alright, so this is going to be really dumb. But, I wanted to stop for a second to figure this out. And... Because I, I didn't want to take forever to remember, because I apparently was failing. Um, and I, I didn't save, because I thought it would just reset. But, you can actually just push it straight through. So what I did is I pushed it up. Um, and I just pushed it straight through and I just timed it with the water droplets, um, just to make sure that I didn't hit it. Because you can, you can time it just right. Um, I'm sorry about that. Uh, my bad. I should have saved, I... Noob mistake. Um, I'll admit. I feel bad, because, I mean, I, I should have shown that off. Or I should have practiced this particular section so that I would have just remembered right away. Oh well. So, now we can go through here because we drained all that water. Um, nothing down there. Hop across here and we're actually about done with this little, uh, this little mini dungeon. And we should be at the exit. There we go. 
Let's see what this guy is. Uh, I think his name's Sap. I remember right. He'll just drain some energy. Um, it's just like a drain attack. Yeah. Attack a phone, steal HP. Anything? Oh, Barbarian. Another class change. Oh, wow. 20 attack points. Almost 50 HP. That's nice. I'm good with that. Alright. Um, I'll meet you guys at the uh, outside of... Out of outside of ball. I'm not gonna make you watch me go back through. Okay. And, uh, we're outside of vault. Um, took care of what we needed to there. Now let's go north. Um. Yeah. Just an old vermin there. Just same enemies as they were at the beginning of the game. Uh, I did stop at the end, so everyone's all healed up. Um. Let's see. No one here really says anything. They're like, oh, you're back. Hi. That's about it. Um. And I'm gonna stop and talk to Isaac's mom and and Garrett's parents and and stuff on the on the way out um, because I want to I don't want this episode to take too long. Um, cu last couple episodes have been a little bit longer than I like. Um, so where I'm going is back over to near Creighton's house. <laughs> See this boulder here. Well, now we have lift, so we can get past here. Let's see what this little kid says. I'm just curious. <laughs> well, now you can find out. Hmm. Bunch of random... <coughs> Bunch of random, uh, boxes and... logs. Okay. That's the veil cave. Now, see that formation of stones? You should get used to that, because in both this game and the sequel, anytime you see that, oh, <laughs> you don't use frost. No, you want to use reveal. I just forgot that I, I had set that. And there's there's almost always one of those right in the middle. Go up here for a second. There's a treasure I'll need to get. Uh, yeah, these enemies are are the same ones as uh, we saw on the world map or by Kalei, so nothing too interesting. Um, can't get through there. My bad. Just go up here. This is a pretty short mini dungeon. It's probably half as long as when we were just in, if that. I'm just gonna pull this into the water here. That way we can get through there. We're gonna move this one over here so we can hop across. Just like that. Alright. <laughs> I like these log things that we can move. I don't know why I just always have. I like those puzzles with those. I'll go ahead and show this one. Um, these are strong spells. Uh, Nothing interesting. Um, should get some decent experience. I think everyone's close to getting a level soon. Uh, to be honest, everyone's a little bit underleveled, uh, considering the section. Um, it's not a problem or anything, but I think, uh, yeah, usually people are like level 19 by this point, but I just haven't run, run into enough battles. I haven't, haven't really run away from anything. I've fought every battle. It's not like I'm avoiding them or something. Oh well. I mean, it's still fine, I'm not struggling by any means. Yeah, push this. And then push this. Alright. Alright. Oh, God, I'm so derpy with these mini dungeons right now. Sorry, viewers. So we get across here. Ooh. I want it. He's gonna be a little bit elusive. We need this. Uh, this is... I think... This is one of the only times we'll reuse this. Um, I'm gonna give it to... 
Yeah, oh, Garrett can keep it, what the hell. Uh, teach us Halt. Um, just kind of a one... Like I said, it's not used very much. There's a treasure over there. I want it. I need to go get it. So, try and chase him around, he'll just keep dodging you. So what you do is, from across the rocks, you use Halt. Ha! And it'll stay put, and we can grab him. Is Jenny sure our feisty creatures are supposed to be helping us? Kite. This one's pretty good. Um, attack twice next, next round. Uh, pretty invaluable. Sometimes it's it's great for having an Amaya um, with the right combinations, so she can get lots of heals in. Um, unfortunately, no class changes for Isaac, but we'll be mixing around the Jenny soon enough. Soon enough, viewers. Soon enough. Um, I think that's going to be all for this episode, just about. Alright, I do want to go grab that treasure chest real quick. Because um, I don't want to leave that. I don't want to leave the episode and then come back. Oh hey, I've got to go get this treasure. I think that's lame. So what we'll do is just do this. Easy enough. Um, it's just a nut. Big deal. Anyways, um, in the next episode, I'll meet you outside of this cave, and um, we'll go talk to Isaac's mom and Garrett's parents and see what they have to say. Just some kind of nice dialogue. Um, nice enough to show, anyways. I can't, no, not move. Reveal. There we go. Alright, this is the Unknown Gamer Guy, and uh, thanks for watching.